following is a production of Learfield Sports. This copyrighted telecast is the property of Black Bear Sports Properties, LLC, an affiliate of Learfield Sports, LLC, under rights granted by the University of Maine. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, reproduction, or other dissemination or use of this telecast or any part of it without the express written consent of Black Bear Sports Properties, LLC, is prohibited. This legal disclaimer is brought to you by Lanham Blackwell & Baber, proud supporter of the Black Bears. If you have any legal questions, visit them at LanhamBlackwell.com. Hello and welcome to the Black Bear Insider. I'm your host, Brian Sullivan. We've got a fantastic show on tap. We're going to talk Maine men's ice hockey because they return here to Alphonse Arena. Head coach Red Gendron and senior standout Stephen Swavely stop by the show. Plus, we'll take a visit to the student section. Perhaps, no, not perhaps, this is, in fact, the best in the nation. More than 1,600 students turned out for Maine's exhibition game earlier this season. That set a record. Plus, beyond the student section, perhaps the best seat in the house the skybox is over my shoulder here. Find out how you can sit there for a Black Bear home game. Plus, the Maine men's and women's basketball team have a little fun with the students here on campus. This you don't want to miss as they go head to head on the court and with a little trivia. Not to mention, we're going to hear from Maine track and field coach Mark Leck as if his job wasn't already hard enough. He's got four sets of twins on his squad this year. Find out how he keeps them all straight. That and a look at the upcoming schedule. This is the Black Bear Insider. Black Bear Insider is brought to you by Lanham Blackwell and Baber, Division of Lifelong Learning, Main Savings, EBS Building Supplies, Fisher Plows, and Digital Workshop. No matter what your game is, indoors or out, the Student Recreation and Fitness Center at the University of Maine is your place to play, work out, relax, and have fun. The Rec Center has state-of-the-art cardio and weight training equipment, a pool, spa, and sauna, a running track, and more than 60 fitness classes a week. Or take your game outside with the Maine Bound Adventure Center. Hit the climbing or bouldering wall, learn how to kayak, or go rock climbing. Whatever game you like, the Student Recreation and Fitness Center is your place to play. Under the bright lights of your playing field, one performer continues to shine. The Fisher Extreme V. With durable X bracing, the Extreme V carries the load. With precision passes, the power to bust through, the maximum protection of the Fisher trip edge, and the brightest lights available. Fisher, your business, our passion. Learn more at vplowfacts.com. There are many sides to basketball star and fashion icon Russell Westbrook. And with coverage in the middle of anywhere from U.S. Cellular, he can find some new ones. Like farm. Russell's Brussels. Russell speaking. Paleontologist. Hashtag T-Rex. Park Ranger. Where am I? And TV spokesperson. That's my line. I got it. With U.S. Cellular, you can do all the things you like. From the middle of anywhere. That is my line. Welcome back to the Black Bear Insider, joined by Maine men's ice hockey coach Red Gendron. Red, thanks a lot for stopping by. My pleasure. Well, we're here in Alphond Arena, a place that I'm sure you're happy to be back in. It's been a while since you've had a nice taste of that home cooking here. Now. Yeah, it has been a while. We played an exhibition game here, but we haven't played a regular season game at home yet. And by, by virtue of the court and the schedule, it is what it is, but we're excited to be back uh, this Sunday. And it, I mean, you've got reason to be excited. The last time you were here, the, the, I believe you set a student record for attendance up there uh, with the guys yeah, up and down. Exactly. There were over 1,600 students that attended the game, and we need them to come back and more uh, 
on Sunday. I mean, that's something that perhaps people in the area take for granted, the atmosphere that Alphond Arena supplies and the advantage that it gives to the, the home Black Bears. Oh, there's no doubt. I mean, our players talk about it. Uh, opposing players talk about how difficult and at the same time exciting it is to play at the Alphond Arena. I mean, it's the best atmosphere in all of college hockey. Yeah, it really is. Now, the way things have gone this year, just a couple of bounces, not going your way, tough out of the gate. How, what's the morale of the squad so far? Well, I think the morale is pretty good. I mean, players are frustrated. Uh, you know, our, our issues have been not scoring goals, mm -hmm. but our issues have not been creating scoring opportunities. I mean, the team has done a really good job of, of advancing the puck through zones and, and getting the puck to what I call the critical moment area. Okay. And we just need to be better in terms of the precision of our execution when we get around the enemy net. And some of it has to do with what uh, is commonly referred to to dirty, scoring dirty goals or creating dirty offense, uh, you know, throwing pucks at the net, getting after rebounds, screening the enemy goalie, deflecting pucks as they approach the net, stuff like that. We've gotten better at that, but obviously it hasn't, uh, it hasn't led to the results scoring a goal, so we've got to be better. Well, this is the Black Bear Insider, so we got to ask you, take us inside. What's going on in practice? What are you trying to do to simulate those situations? Well, we, you know, it's pretty easy to simulate those situations in practice. Um, you know, so we, we work on it all the time. We have a variety of drills that we use to practice those very, very kinds of things that I've, I've described. And, uh, you know, basically you've got to get it done in the game. And our team uh, has done a pretty good job mm -hmm. with that, but obviously we need more. I mean, uh, we've been shut out four times this year, so obviously we failed to score in four out of our nine uh, regular season games, so there's room, room to improve. When things aren't going your way, and you have a younger squad like this, we have Steven Swavely on the program a little bit later. How much do you rely on a guy like him to lead the way? Oh, no question. And one of the strengths of our hockey team this year, uh, Steven and, and the other veterans who uh, have letters and, and, a, and a group of other players who aren't formally leaders because they have a letter on their shirt, either a C or an A, but uh, they bring that kind of leadership to the team and uh, they've been instrumental in encouraging the players and, and uh, helping them to understand what it's going to take to get ourselves over this hump. End of the day, just win that, win a game and go from there, right? Yeah, I mean, I think that's all we need to worry about right now, And, and uh, but we have to adhere to the process. I mean, there's a process uh, to scoring goals yeah. and, and there's a process to playing the entire game. I mean, I'm sitting here talking to you about offense, but uh, if we neglect the defensive so side, we score three goals, we give up four, sure. the result's going to be the same. So we need to attend all phases of our game, but it's pretty clear right now that the biggest challenge we face is on offense. All right, Maine men's ice hockey coach Red Gendron. The Black Bears return to Alphon Arena this weekend. When we come back on the Black Bear Insider, Maine senior standout Stephen Swavely. Don't go away. We could move some investments, but your real problem is your checking account. It's awful. You get nothing in return, and you pay monthly fees. Doesn't everybody? Not if we move you into the red. I thought red meant negative. Not that kind of red. Red Wallet Checking from Maine Savings. Red Wallet is free checking with monthly rewards and ATM fee refunds. Red Wallet offers rewards of high interest, cash back, or even tunes. Open your free Red Wallet account today, only at Maine Savings. EBS Building Supplies knows time is the most valuable resource you have. That's why they offer free delivery anywhere in their service area. Fast, convenient, and free. That's the EBS way. So whether you're a professional contractor or a do-it-yourself homeowner, no delivery is too small or too big. And custom ordering is always available. Use EBS free delivery to make your life easier and your home improvement project complete faster. EBS Building Supplies. Can do. Just ask. Getting your education through UMaine Online offers all the advantages you'd expect. Access to the state's premier public research institution. World-class faculty who are leaders in their fields. Active learning and interaction with your professors and classmates. A flexible schedule where and when you need it. Online student services dedicated to your success. <laughs> UMaine Online, where you want to be. Welcome back to the Black Bear Insider, now joined by Maine men's ice hockey senior standout Stephen Swavely. Stephen, thanks a lot for stopping by. Yeah, thanks for having me. Now, the things haven't gone exactly the way that you would have wanted out of the gate so far. 
haven't gotten a victory yet, but you return home this weekend. How important is it to play well here at Alphon Arena? Yeah, it's it's very important. Uh, anytime you come to the Alphon and and the uh, the support we get here, it's 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 very important to play well, put a good uh, outing out, and, and come away with some wins. So that's what we're looking forward to doing. Last time you were here, you had a record set in the student section. More than 1,600 fans turned out to watch you play. 1,600 fans only in the student section. So I mean, that's got to make you feel good knowing that the campus is here supporting you. Yeah, um, my four years, they've never let us down. Um, that's why they're they're called the best fans in college hockey. And. Uh, you know, I have no doubt they'll continue their support, and it's awesome. It's great to see. It's great to play in front of them. It makes it really special. Sure. We'll talk a little bit more about those fans in just a couple of minutes here, but I do want to ask you a little bit about what it's been like to be away from Alphon for so long. Obviously, here practicing during the week, but it's been a long time on the road. Yeah, I mean, there's pros and cons to it. Um, our team has, has grown pretty close together. Um, our team chemistry is, is very good to be on the road at all times. You know, there's no other distractions, just the team. Um, so it's like you said, we haven't gotten the results we wanted, but it, it's been good for our team chemistry, and that'll only benefit benefit us going down the road here. Now, talk to me about the lack of results that you're you're seeing out there on the ice. What needs to happen in order for that to, that trend to reverse? Uh, easiest answer: start scoring some goals. Um, our goalies have have been giving us a chance to win every night, and uh, as soon as we start putting some goals in, get that first couple, you know, three goal, four goal night, yeah. uh, get that first win, they'll start coming, they'll start start rolling. So. We're confident, we're staying positive, and looking forward to uh, seeing what happens here in the future. What sort of things are you working on in practice to try and build up that offense, get some of those goals yeah, to start I coming? Yeah, I think it's it's more of uh, trying to get those dirty goals to start. Uh, yeah. Not so much the, the nice, fancy dangle goals. It's you know getting the puck to the net, everyone going hard to the net, and uh, squeaking a, a few in that way. And, and after that, then then uh, you know the more pretty goals and all that will sure. start to come. But until then, you know you got to get some dirty goals. You find that some of the younger guys on the team are looking to you for leadership? Yeah, of, of course. Um, as always, as of the rest of the, the older guys, yeah. um, you know, we got to step up as well. It starts with us, and, and we know that. And you know, we're, we're still confident in our abilities and what we can do here. Still a lot of season left. Yeah, Mass Lowell's coming in this weekend. Get into that the, the meat of that Hockey East schedule. The importance of just getting a victory and building from there. Yeah, we played two games in Hockey East, and we played them tough. We played BC tough. We ran into a hot goalie. Demko played awesome. Um, you know, we have, we have almost a whole full, full season of hockey East left, so we're not discouraged. Sure. Um, there's, there's, there's plenty of room for us to improve, but there's plenty of time for us to get those wins and, and to make those, make those changes, so and we're confident. Coach Gendron talked about it just a couple of minutes ago. You talk about the offense, but really you got to keep playing that good defense because it's what's been kept in these games. Yeah, no, uh, Coach, is, he's, done a, he's done a good job at this practice plan to, to continue to uh, grow in our defense. I mean, that's something we've done well, but um, we, don't, we don't stop working on it. We're always working on it every day. And uh, as, as long as we keep that defense strong, the offense will come. So. Still confident in what this team can achieve? Absolutely. No doubt right. my mind. Steven Swavely, thank you very much for stopping by. When we come back, we're going to talk a little bit about the fans that support Steven and his guys every time they return here to Alphon Arena. That's when Black Bear Insider comes back. It's crazy. When you're so close to the band and stuff and everyone's just getting really revved up about it, it's really fun to be a part of.
Hey Black Bear fans, my name is Brett Baber with Lanham Blackwell and & Baber and this is Compliance Corner where we help you understand some of the most commonly misunderstood NCAA rules and regulations that affect our Black Bear athletes and its program. Today I'd like to talk to you about NCAA gambling guidelines. Student athletes, coaches, and athletic department staff cannot place a wager on any college or professional sporting event in which the NCAA conducts a championship. This includes wagers for items such as cash, meals or apparel, fantasy sports leagues, or sports pools such as March Madness Bracket Contest. Additionally, student athletes, coaches, and athletic department staff may not share information that could be used to wager on sports, including injury updates. Gambling activities have very specific limitations placed on them, so if you have any questions about this, or any other compliance questions, feel free to contact the Black Bear Compliance Office at 207-581-1557 or visit goblackbears.com slash information slash compliance. This has been Compliance Corner brought to you by Lanham Blackwell & Baber. Welcome back to the Black Bear Insider. You Maine hockey fans will finally get a chance to see their team in a home game in the regular season for the first time all year this weekend. If you've never experienced being a fan at Alfond Arena, well, you're in for a treat when you watch your first game. Here's a look at why Alfond Arena is considered one of the best places in the country to watch a hockey game. The atmosphere, just everyone's going crazy. Even the parents, everyone's getting involved. It's loud and it's crazy and we're ready to go. Eat breakfast, wake up, get in line. Being a student in the Alphon means something. You know, as much as the team has a reputation, we have a reputation as well. This is the Maniac section. It's a group of individuals who are really, really dedicated to Maine hockey and come out and brave the cold or in the winters every single game, wait hours on end just so they could get, you know, good seats and have fun. It shows a huge commitment to the hockey team and that we're actually here to support the team, not just go to a free game. A lot of traditions are actually brought up by the band and as well the maniac section. We do, you know, different dances, different chants. Go Boots! Go Boots! This is Bernie, the referee. Um, he's been at UMaine for years and years, passed down through generations of maniacs. When we get a goal, everyone, like, gets up. Oh, it's insane in here. <laughs> They can feel it when you have a full student section and, and the place is just booming with noise. When you score a goal, the opposing team definitely not only hears it but feels it and it kind of gives you momentum and takes the momentum away from them. It's amazing. I think that's one of the main reasons most of the guys come. Uh, you come on your visit and you see a game with the Alphon, you see all the students, the line. When there's a power play, you'll hear the crowd get going, and I think that brings up a lot of guys, stuff like that, or block shot, big hit, things like that throughout the game, and that energy definitely translates to the bench and onto the ice. You can tell when they hear you and they really like what you would just yell. It feels like a real connection. The energy is crazy. When you're so close to the band and stuff and everyone's just getting really revved up about it, it's really fun to be a part of. The camaraderie of all the students together, it's amazing. And the whole crowd gets super rowdy and we all just cheer for Maine and it's probably one of the most fun things to do up here at University of Maine. We're like the best atmosphere for a hockey game so we like to uphold that. It's the craziest student section in the nation. I honestly think that there's probably no harder place to play in America.
from the student section, we'll turn our attention to what might be the second best seat in the house. The Skybox is here at Alfond Arena. If you haven't had a chance to take in a game from there, well, you're missing out. Here's how you can get the bird's eye view. Here at the Alfond Arena, we have um, luxury skyboxes available for anybody that would be interested. Um, they come with 12 luxury seats, um, flat screen TVs, uh, refrigerators, and we also provide complimentary soft drinks um, to our guests. And it's just a unique opportunity to watch our only Division I men's ice hockey program in the state. So this is a very intimate setting where you can um, invite guests in, um, whether they're employees of yours or take advantage of it yourself. Um, some folks do it their clients. Our Skybox holders have an opportunity to have prominent signage in the arena, which is seen by hundreds of thousands of people through TV and also through our fans here at the game. Coach Gendron often stops by our suites prior to the game. Um, and we also have a unique opportunity at the end of the season where we host a reception for our suite holders with Coach and some of his players. Um, and it's a chance to talk to them and hear about a uh, recap of the season and what's coming up for next season. Um, and that's for exclusive to our suite holders. So there's um, Skybox parking, which is right out front of Alfond Arena. So it's VIP parking um, for our guests. There is also, um, we provide um, 12 season tickets to men's and women's basketball um, for the entire season at Cross Insurance. So another benefit that our um, clients like to take advantage of. We do have suites available for the entire season, but we also have a game by game opportunity for those that would be interested in purchasing for one game or for the weekend. We can put together a package that works best for our clients. After the break here on the Black Bear Insider, we're going to leave Alphonse Arena and make our way over to the pit. We're going to go a little mad. The main men's and women's basketball team taking on some students in a variety of activities. Black Bear Madness returns when the Black Bear Insider comes back. A wave of game day excitement is rolling into Duncan. Taste the new Tailgater breakfast sandwich stacked with smoked sausage, fire roasted peppers and onions. America runs on Duncan. Oh, wait, wait. I'm going to need you to ring these all up separately, please. Separately? Oh, seriously, with the dime thing again? What? I earn a dime every time I swipe. Now hand me those socks. Nope, just one at a time. With Make Sense Checking from Gorham Savings Bank, you earn 10 cents on all debit card purchases that post and clear. Apply online in as little as five minutes. Thank you. Another dime. There are many sides to basketball star and fashion icon Russell Westbrook. And with coverage in the middle of anywhere from U.S. Cellular, you can find some new ones. Like farm. Russell's Brussels. Russell speaking. Paleontologist. Hashtag T-Rex. Park Ranger. Where am I? And TV spokesperson. That's my line. I got it. With U.S. Cellular, you can do all the things you like. From the middle of anywhere. That is my line. This fall at Dunkin' Donuts, get lost in pumpkin. Pick up your favorite pumpkin-flavored beverages and baked treats like the new pumpkin cheesecake square while they're still here. America runs on Dunkin'. Welcome back to the Black Bear Insider. As the main men's and women's basketball team launch into their 2015 and 2016 campaigns, they really want to focus on student involvement. With that in mind, they host an event called Black Bear Madness where they took on students in a variety of activities. Take a look. Just a way to get people out to come into the games, both, both men and women, and just, uh, just, just time for fun. Just fun. <laughs> Talk us through the dunking crew down tonight. Oh, it was just a little windmill, man. Had to, had to get it down real quick. It was nothing serious. It's a chance for the students to come out, uh, get a look at our basketball teams, and just have a lot of fun with the players. So uh, it was a really big success. Go! Encourage them, guys. Come on! Yeah, that was a lot of fun because actually my partner was my brother and uh, he wasn't hitting, but uh, luckily we came out with the win, so I'm hoping he uh, shares that $50 gift card with me. I mean, it's really important because we're trying to get everybody, as much as possible, as much people to come out to the game and support the Black Bears, women and men. You're going to have 20 seconds to write down the answer, right? 20 seconds to write it down. All right, the first question. There are nine different countries 
represented on the women's basketball team. Name as many as you can. Start the clock. For the United Kingdom, Serbia, Sweden, Finland, Greece, Italy, Austria, Germany, and the United States. Our fans are what motivate us. We have all these fans at our games. It's, a, it's really our driving force, so to be able to see them come out for this kind of thing is really, really nice. I'm liking it. It's a building culture. It's a really building culture. Everything, everything is going into the place. Everything is going to the reason why I wanted to come in here. As if being a Division I college coach already wasn't a hard enough job, try being Mark Leck. He's got four sets of twins on this year's track and field team, and this is how he tries to keep everybody straight. Uh, if you don't see him all the time, for me anyways, um, it's a, you look for any little thing that you can see to differentiate them. I'm normally a little taller. That's how most people yeah, he's try got to tell an the difference. Or two on me, yeah. height wise. Uh, but if they're sitting down, then that doesn't help at all. But most people can't tell the difference, yeah, to be I'd honest. Yeah, I'd you got to get to know us. Give it a First year or two yeah. and you might yeah. have a shrug. My face is a little bit more, his is more rounder, mine's a little bit more square. I haven't dealt that much with them. I haven't seen them day to day type of thing. So. Um, I'm still working on them. He has a birthmark on his knee, but he never wears shorts, so it doesn't really help. Well, I've got my freckle here and a freckle here, and people remember Faith Freckle, and they tell me apart, tell us apart. If I'm looking at one angle, I kind of have to, okay, <laughs> so look at, uh, oh yeah, okay, your Faith, so. I'm shorter, you can't see it right now because I'm wearing sneakers, but I am a little shorter. Uh, had some practice at it, but yeah, with four like this, it's highly unusual. <laughs> this is just about as busy as it gets here at the University of Maine. Fall teams wrapping up, winter sports getting going. There's a lot going on with that in mind. We don't want you to miss anything. Here's a look at the upcoming schedule. Well, that wraps it up for this week's episode of the Black Bear Insider. Thank you very much for joining us. If you want to know more about your favorite teams, go to GoBlackBears.com. Until we see you again, we will say, Go Black Bears!